Of us who are here and say welcome again to this recognition seminar for Nairobi. Effective now, we are going to be on and we are going to start the program and run concurrently until the time we finish. Now, on behalf of all those who are watching us from BF Suma Africa TV, we would like to say welcome and join us as we start this program. We will be live uh, also on BF Suma Africa TV. TV. So if you are here and you have a friend who cannot make it to be here, please send them the link. We are sharing the link in all pages. Please use those links and share them out and let us join in this nice celebration for today. 
I want to make the last request. Jacaranda members, if you see any of them seated behind there, please move them to the front here. We will be glad to do this. Now, while we start, I want to ask this question. How many people should supplement? Who should supplement? Adults, children, women, or men? No, you don't sound like you know. Between men and women, who should supplement more? Between men and women, who should supplement more? Men. All the ladies who think men should supplement more say aye. All men who think that women should supplement more say aye. The eyes have it. <laughs> the eyes have it. Somehow, all of us should do what? Supplement. supplement. And do you know any other reason why we should supplement? Would you want to know a reason why we should supplement? Now, this is the time that I want to invite our one and only man from Keno who has come to represent the UK kingdom. And he has come because UK is United Keno. And there, things are different. He comes to signify that why should we supplement? And this is the best topic of all. Please put your hands together and welcome one and only Dr. Peter Mungai on stage so that he can take us through. Oh, he has new names. <laughs> Gold blood. Not yet. Through? Very good. That is our way of Kino to ensure that it is working. We first knock it. Good morning once again. Kindly help me welcome your neighbor and tell your neighbor you are very important. Thank you very much. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Peter Mungai, and a very excited member of BF Suma. And I have my reasons, and maybe I don't know yours. And my purpose in this uh, company is to ensure I make you relevant in the marketplace. There is a lot of money in the health space, but you can never chase it. You either become relevant and become somebody else's solution and attract the money. Otherwise, if you chase the money, you'll never find it. Are we together? And for the sake of those who are new and those uh, who are watching us from the diaspora, BF Soma stands for Bright Future, which is a company on its own in Hong Kong and it manufactures conventional medication. Then we have SUMA, which is a sister company in Los Angeles. And SUMA stands for Superior Unique Manufacturers of America. What do we mean by superior? Superior is how uh, our manufacturers dealing with the supplements. How do they extract? What are the technologies involved? And the technology involved in manufacturing our products is top of the range. It is cutting edge technology. You have heard people talk of Ganodama. But when we come to BF Suma, we don't talk of Ganodama. We talk of pure and broken Ganodama spores, which means you need a whole 1,000 kg to manufacture 1 kg of our product. Hello? And when we talk of unique, it is the mythology. How are our products mixed? Are they just mixed for the sake of just uh, going to the market for sales, or are they effective? I take serious precaution whenever I talk about mixing, because it's not once or twice has somebody come to me and tell me, I am taking calcium. OK? I have calcium supplements. And I always ask them, According to you, you are taking calcium supplements. How effective is your calcium? Have it ever bothered your heart or your concerns to go and look at the high blood pressure medications and look at the contents? Most of them you'll find calcium channel brokers. Are we together? Calcium is synthesized in your kidney. Your kidney determines your high blood pressure. And for those who tell me that my kidney is aching me here, your kidney is not here. 
you are kidney somewhere here. Okay? You are kidney that you are back, not here. Toko pamoja. If now you are taking calcium, how effective is your calcium? Is it going to harm you or to create a crisis? It needs another supplement. If there is a way that you have to mix it in order for it to be effective. That is why if you look at our supplement in calcium, you'll never miss something, zinc, magnesium, selenium, glucosamine. All these are to make sure that the calcium that you take is absorbed at the rate of 98%. Hello? That is how unique it is. And they are manufacturers of America. America is a place of order and you don't do things the way you feel like. You do everything and document it, take it to the authorities, they compare your literature and your realities and then call you to defend what you have written. Okay? Sometimes back somebody manufactured a very wonderful drink but he made one mistake. He said that when you drink it, it makes you fry. So somebody went to court and told the judge, I have taken the drink, and I didn't fry. And he paid $100 million. Did the company survive? OK? That is the order of America. You do things accordingly. You don't just joke. And that is where our uh, main company is. That is where our products are manufactured. OK? It is a whole different thing when you come to this part of the world. You can hear of Roriodo. You go to Roriodo. Does it exist? Was anybody arrested? Was anybody asked to document what the, the contents of Florio, uh, whatever they were taking? Nobody was asked. So it came and it disappeared. Then came Queru. How many ate Quail? Namayayaki. <laughs> OK? Isn't it? And then there came others. Shorwa Mada Shokino Massive. You know? All these things came. Mm? But there is no scientific backing to those concussions. But now when we talk of BF Suma, we are directly involved in manufacturing and we have patents. Okay? Patent is ownership. The owner of a formula is called patent. That is what you call original and there's generic. Patent is the original. Okay? Hello? Now, I want us to go straight to why should we supplement and who should supplement. And I want to welcome you into a focus of growing old. How do you say that somebody is old? At what time is somebody considered old? And when somebody is considered old, how is the body responding to that old age? This is called the biological clock. Every day, there is a clock ticking biologically in your life. Your body will grow and grow and grow until you are 21 years. And when you are 21 years, the front part of the brain matures. And that is the end of your growth. You only have three more years to be considered old. After 21 years, you can now take what is a risk and what is not a risk. Before 21, you can feed it all the night. But after 21 years, now you start being responsible. At 24 years, now the body starts considering you as a mature person and the growth has come to an end. You can never grow taller after 21, 24 years. Are we together? The end of the growth has come. Now you can either amua kwa mkubwa ama kwa mdogo yoni stresi yako. Okay? But now from then henceforth, the body now decides to choose how to treat you in accordance to what you eat. You are considered old according to your inner organs, not your outside. Your outside is a manifestation of your inner organs. Are we together? And one area that considers you and measures your age is your kidney. Your kidney tells us how old you are. Even if you are 25 years, your kidney could be 60 years, depending on the rate of filtration and the overwork you are giving the organ. One other very important area is your digestive tract. It is called gastrointestinal tract, GIT, or digestive system. 
Once you reach that age, now the gastrointestinal have come to maturity and now it decides what to digest and what not to digest. Hello? It decides not by you taking what you are taking. It is not by your ingestion that it will digest. And from then henceforth, now it comes to a rate called metabolism factor. Once it starts to decide what to be considered as a toxin and what to consider as food, now your age starts counting from then. You are reaching that years. You become intolerant to foods that you are eating in your 20s. Is it true? You become now intolerant. But something else happens. You start accumulating toxins. And three major areas in your abdomen that the toxins will be occupied, it's your kidney, your liver, and now your colon. Hello? When the toxins start accumulating in your gut, that means you will be compromising 70% of your immune system. And when that happens, now you are susceptible to any form of illness because the illness will be already in you. Two things will happen. The toxins can cause a lot of complication, but even worse is that you will be feeding a disease. Whatever you eat is either poison or food. It is either meant to help you or to feed a disease. Am I talking? But now, in this parts of the world, even if we were to speak about food, it would be meaningless. Because every portion or every section in this country, they produce a given type of food. There are those who produce a lot of doma, and they eat doma. There are those who produce a lot of potatoes, they eat potatoes, isn't it? And all this was not because you wanted to eat. It's because what was available had to be eaten. And the woman in the house was not the type to argue with you. Those my age, you know, we were brought up by military commandos, retired. They just had to look at you, even in church, and you know what they have said. She just looked at you, and you walked to the poor pit and you pay. Slowly, okay? You meet in town and she greet you, you don't go back home unless you are crazy. So we didn't have that privilege of same an attacker. Unataka nini? Nobody has. We are hearing it with our children. Okay? So our food was as per what was available. But our body will not forgive you because you are eating what is not right. And now BF Suma came and saw that gap and realized some things will be too bad if they are just left for granted. If we just assume that the nutraceutical medication we have is just for the sake, then we shall not be filling any gap in the medical space. Hello? Hello. Number one, there are two organs in your body that are considered dog in case of the body. And these organs are the liver and your kidneys. They work tirelessly and they are hardened enough to accommodate all manner of abuse in your body. But trust you me, when they start failing, they fail so badly such that they are so stubborn to treat just as the donkey. Are we together? I want you to consider about your liver. If today you have been taking supplements, which areas of our life do we target? Remember, we have always advocated for this. Take care of your health today, and it will take care of you tomorrow. If you do not budget for your health today, then you will budget for your illness automatically. And things are not as they were before. Everything has changed. I want to talk about something called refined Yunzi. This product, most of the time, we do not know when to apply it or when to use it. Sometimes we confuse it as a targeted product. But the basics of Yunzi, which is a crown like a mushroom, is practically number one, to cleanse your liver. Cleansing your liver, what does it mean to cleanse your liver? It means that the liver by itself is cleansed of the heavy metals that 
uh, residents after you have taken the uh, metals in your food, in your medicine, and in other chemicals, and in other toxins. The major work of the uh, liver is to detoxify, but it also needs detoxification. Okay? The liver, for those who don't know, is situated on your right side, upper quadrant. Here, this is your liver. Can you touch liver? This is your liver. This one. It is the upper right quadram. This one, this hand, as it is. It is the largest organ situated on the right. Hello? And the liver have several purposes or several functions. It cleanses the blood. Which means if the liver is not cleansed, it will not cleanse the blood. And the toxins in your blood has the ability to saturate all the other organs. By taking Yunzi, you take care not only of the liver itself, but increase its functionalities. The functions of the liver are enhanced by taking refined Yunzi. Are we together? And why should we be doing so? One most important thing for you to note, 70% of all the drugs manufactured today in our country are given to animals. Do you agree? We are in agribusiness now. And when an animal takes medication, the medication becomes the most stable. Even in Kumanisha, you cannot destroy it by cooking. And there are very good instructions. They are written there. Once you dispense this medication to your pottery, do not sell the eggs. Do not sell the pottery itself for at least seven days. Have you heard of that? Now, are you very sure they do the same? If somebody is in Keno and have at least 1,000 pottery, and then they are given those instructions, are they likely to assume that they will follow it? They will not, but they will not sell within the surroundings because they don't want to be known and they, they, want, they don't want to risk killing the neighbors, but they will be headed to Gedorai. Okay? And the farmer in Gedorai will be headed to Keno. So it means you are not in charge of what you take in matters chemicals. They can be found in the products, they can be found in the milk, they can be found in the chicken, they can be found in the eggs. Anytime you think of what you are eating, just realize that you can be accumulating toxins in your liver. And when they go down in your liver, they are no longer the toxins you are thinking of. They are heavy metals called metabolites. Are we together? So it's not a matter of whether you are sick or not. It's a matter of taking care of your liver. And treatment of the liver is not simple. Anytime you hear that somebody is undertaking liver treatment, it means that person is spending quite some money. One treatment called TASE, or transarterial chemoembolization, one session costs you 400000 Is that cheap? That is very expensive. Sindio, it is not easy. But taking care of your liver ensures that you lead a better life. Hello? And now, I want now to tell you of something called the anti-aging. As you grow old, you have more time to yourself. But as you grow old also, you lose your immunity because your digestion is impaired. You are rate of... Uh, Eliminating waste from your body is impaired, and so is your immunity. Most of the time you realize people grow old and they get sick. It is like synonymous. It is like obvious that when you are old, you'll have to be sick, isn't it? But truly, truly, it is not the same. You can do something that can uh, delay the aging process and ensure that you enjoy your life the way you should be. I thank God because of this company, because every time they improve the products part time, part time. Today, we have had something called NMN Duo Release. Have you seen that product? Nani Meyona? Very good. Do you know what that means? Whenever you talk of nicotinamide, you talk of repairing of cells. We talk of enhancing of cell activities. 
we talk of flaccidity of the cell. We talk of elimination of damaged cells and repair of DNA. Is that interesting? It simply means who does the echo come away in Guinea? You know, whenever I talk about old age as a disease, people think it is about just being old and you'll be sick and then you convince yourself seeing it as a echo fear. But I want you to take an example. If you live here in Nairobi and you go to where you are born, your village, with your children, and you meet with your classmate, who are you with your classmate? Kuna mtu asha kubari ati mempeleka kuna moja tulikuwa tunasoma na huyu akakubari. Eh? So you are the same age. But why is that person older than you? Eh? Already the environmental factors are at work and that person is exposed to more harm than you. As for you, you live, you don't go to the river to fetch water, for example. So you do not work as they work. The tear and wear on your body is slowed by your lifestyle. Okay? By taking this product, I want us to encourage one another that you need nicotinamide in your body for several reasons, other than repairing the cell, delaying the aging process. How many people would want to be old? Akuna? But I thought you said old is gold. Do you know growing old is like a mental illness? Huh? Do you know you are the only one who don't know you are old? Eh? The, by the time I knew I was old, I was going to be a little bit of 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 a little And I looked at myself. Kumbe of a It is only you who don't know you are old because you, you are with yourself all the time. <laughs> You never know. I take exceptions in people, the drunkards. You see somebody who is drunk and he, he is the only one who doesn't know that he is drunk. Atanakuliza. Nimekosea mutu. Now, why do you die here? Kama umekosea mutu. It is only you who don't know you are growing old. But it does not mean you take careless measures. If you do not take the right measures and be careless, it means whatever have been attacking others in their old age will attack you. I was reading through a journal, and the journal was so categorical, and it was insisting that out of the 50 million Kenyans alive today, that 5 million may never get to the age of 50. That is serious. And it went ahead to say they will not be eliminated by sickness but lifestyle diseases. Okay? And that means then if you are now 50 years old, you'll be considered very old. Okay? Therefore, taking care of the organs that work for you to look younger is one key factor that NMN duo is manufactured or tailored to do. And it is only one tablet. Hello? Only one. It has a consistent release for 24 hours. So you take one in the morning, and tomorrow it will still be in your system. That is called the half-life of medication. 24 hours, I think, is the longest I have ever seen in any form of supplementation. So what we have is a star product. Okay? It is both for maintenance, especially those who have undergone chronic illness. A chronic illness is one that is past one week. Anytime somebody is sick for more than one week, now you enter a chronic stage whereby we consider you are having a lot of tear and wear inside you. If you are taking other medications and you are not repairing the damage already done, it means you can go down. Have you seen that? And in fact, the first time to show them that they are going down, they look all here. You did not take it. Quasi Akitua. All of them are Why? 
came up with a harsh treatment. Are you together? And it is attacking any growing cell, indiscriminate. And the cells that is supposed to help are not fed. Feeding the cell is a key factor that each and every one of us should consider. Okay? Tuko pamoja? Iyo enemeni me think. Is it okay? Do not wait until you are compromised to start taking it. It is one of our star products in this company. And there are so many things that we, we know and we have here. And we know when we are starting to treat you, we don't just jump into the process. We know that most of the time, where you have been compromised mostly is in your gastrointestinal tract or the digestive system. And whenever you are in this company, we encourage you to first do a full body detox. How many have detoxified? Very good. How do you know that you need to detox? Very few things that you should consider. How is your sleep pattern? Okay? Is your sleep pattern okay? How many times do you go to the toilet in a day? Is it two times? Or once? Or two, uh, twice a week? <laughs> okay? How is your sweat? Do you sweat to the extent that I get to Mahali if you, you announce your presence? Okay? How is your skin? Does, is it full of pimples? Do you have boils? How is your hair? Do you have dandruffs? Okay? Those are just a few things that you should. And when you release that gas, how is it? Is it tolerable? <laughs> Can you be tolerated? Or do you just cause havoc, even on your own? Okay? Does it come out at least 32 times? And how do you count? Okay? There are so many things that happen that tells you you need a detox. If you find yourself in constipation, always ask yourself, is it normal that I'm eating and I'm not removing the waste? Is it normal that for two days I have not visited the small room? It is not normal. Constipation can be assumed as a minor ailment, but trust you me, that was the days far gone. Okay? Today, constipation is causing hemorrhoids, and the hemorrhoids of today, if they are internal, I'm telling you for sure, you will never be able to differentiate between a hemorrhoid and a cancer. It is simple to assume, I have seen many, somebody comes and tells me, oh, nikienda kwa choni, naona damu, sijui nini, I look at the person, and I'm angali, and I'm uliza, umepima damu? No, okay. The eyes are already telling me something dangerous have already developed in your system. The person is already anemic, but the assumption is hemorrhoids. Only to go for biopsy and be told you have rectal adenocarcinoma. That is a very serious cancer. Even the, the sounding, okay? It is starts by you having constipation. And then you have the hemorrhoids. The hemorrhoids burst. The waste stands there. It becomes inflamed. It becomes in infectious. And later on, due to survival mechanism, it develops a cancer. So as you assume that you are very much okay, ask yourself, um, do I have constipations? And one way that we eliminate that is by using our constellilax. Our constellilax is a fiber. It's a liquid fiber that will mix with your waist, and then it will go down to the colon, help the colon to produce enough mucus. Waste. Okay? Are we together? Remember, everything have a way of doing, and everything is changing part time. Mostly those who are in Nairobi believe that sitting on that ball in your house is the right thing to do when you are defecating all your dealing with your waste excretion. But do you still know that there is a way of doing it? The rectum will not is, have a negotiated corner. It has a corner. It is not a straight line. If you don't do the right thing, ile yageshagi. Hata kama ni kwa nyumba yako, kukwa na hiyo wachowa, kuna kitu ya kukanya. Many people are starting from there. You retain the waste, plus the waste, plus the waste. Later on, you have hemorrhoids, and then you proceed to what? Forcey food defecation. 
Fourth foot defecation ni ile unaingia kwa choo hii na mtu wako kwa hii unafikia na nyongwa. <laughs> eh? Hata shughuli zako zinakuwa fupi sana kwa sababu unashindwa nani ananyongea mtu mwenzangu hapa kwa cho. That is called fourth foot defecation. Are we together? Therefore, when you take our product for two weeks, you realize you lose about three kgs. Those three kgs, they were in your colon, and it was waste that you have been carrying along. Ndiyo huo unaenda unapimu wanayo, waste ni ngapi, that is the waste. Kumbuka, the colon is here in front. Inakuwa hapa mbele, paka ifike upando wa left, ndiyo inarudi nyuma. So wakati unapimu wa waste, inafika hapa, probably ni your waste. You have been carrying it for no reason. And then we have to ensure we give you uh, good bioenzymes to ensure that whatever have not been digested is digested. Hello? And it, that is in veggie veggie. And then we take care of macro arteries, the small capillaries that are in, a, in your gut can be clogged. So we give you novel to ensure even if you have hemorrhoids. Zimeto? Zimetoka. Hello? And then we give you probio 3 to ensure that your gut health is at par. By do so doing, your immunity is already back to 70%. And then we have targeted products. And these targeted products, they are from children to women to men. As for our children, ensure that you give these children something that will help in bone growth. Okay? Bone growth is very key to our children. And you should always know that in this part of the country, when you give birth, the child is not examined by a pediatrician because they are not very much available. So some of the conditions you find your child having, they were born with it. And it is that most women in our country have breast calcium. Okay? Calcium is not available in our country. So if you go to the hospital today, you realize 58% of pediatric admissions, what are our total, 58% are calcium-related illnesses. So if you give your child Dr. Kao, you are ensuring that the bone growth is guaranteed. Guarantee of go bone growth is very important. Why is bone, bone growth so important? It is in the bone that blood is manufactured. So your child can be anemic due to lack of calcium. And if the blood is less, I'm aquanemic, even the immunity will be low. And therefore, very susceptible to pediatric illnesses. Another thing we have is the uh, smart gummies. Why are smart gummies so important? They help in brain development. Most of the time, you want to force a child to know things that you assume they should know. You assume they will go to school, study, and come back with everything they had learned. No. It does not happen that way. It is obvious that if you find very many uh, professors in this country, where do they come from? Huh? USA. Isn't it? Isn't it? When you go to that place, you realize even dogs don't bark. They just ask who. Okay. It's a serious side country, okay? Why are they better? It's because of the presence of that lake. It produced fish, fish that gave them the fatty acids, and then it gave them something called the attention span. How big is it? How easily are you tired when running? How attentive can you be part-time in your class? You realize you go to school. Of late, you have been seeing this. Somebody go to a medical school, the first seven years, and then he just becomes a DJ. And then, Nitara? Sinitaranta? Far from that, it's a lie. Why would you go for seven years and then turn to music? could divert from going ahead to the next four years. Because seven years are just basics, there are about 14 more years for you to go. Okay? See, at DJ Sikazimzuri, it's a very good profession, but because of the attention span, you realize you get tired. Most of the people who just drop at form four, akasema machoka, si kupenda kuwako, the brain could take no more, you are full. Do you want our children to brew that also? It is not good. 
Smart gametes will ensure that the brain has a retentive memory and a wide span of attention. And you realize those guys, when you go to the Nyanza, you go to school with somebody for seven years and you decide you are not going forward, sorry for you. Seven years, ten years to come, you, you hear that there's a new head of department in that hospital. You walk in to say hi to the new boss, it is your classmate. It is your former. And this time around, he has very many names. Professor, Dr. Wesophagas, Omondi, Rogers, Gallbladder, you know? <laughs> because now, he went ahead. <laughs> okay? He went further and studied more. Our children need that much of attention. For our women, I will never tire to tell you, it is no longer things that you should lose 216 women per day due to one common disease. It is not nice. It, it does not go well. Welcome, Dr. Comfort. <laughs> we graduated just in case you didn't know these flags were for graduation. And she became a doctor. <laughs> we can clap for her. She's not the woman you just see around just like this. She's a tough one. Okay? <laughs> Very nice. I will not allow you as women who come across my path to just die. It is not wise for you to leave breast cancer as a threat because it is just coming. It is not a chronic disease. Okay? It is something that needs intervention and it needs you to participate. Your participation in preventative medicine will help cure this kind of disease where you ever, if you divide 216 by 24, it means nine women per hour. Nine women dying of breast cancer. Reason being, one, you think your breast was just for feeding the baby. And that is how you are taught. And that is what you believe in. But I have never tried to tell you, when you are giving birth, there are some mathematics that are left open for you. You give birth to a child who is three kilograms. The amniotic fluid was also three kilograms. And then the placenta was also how many kilograms? And then the blood was how many kilograms? So you lose 12 off at a go. Do you think that is easy? And it goes down with a pain equivalent to breaking 27 bones. I thought men would say hallelujah. If you are sitting next to a woman, just say hi. hi. And if you're a man, just go back to your pocket and give her a thousand. <laughs> I'm standing. I'm saying if you are seated. <laughs> Just give her a thousand and tell her you are tough. Okay? <laughs> the bad news about the whole thing is the uterus have expanded. It is a distended organ. Normally, it was this size. The size of your fist is equivalent to the size of your uterus. But for to accommodate 12 kilograms, it has distended to this level. Okay? And now, it is required to go back to normalcy without assistance. It's a lie. After birth, nobody takes care of you. Everything goes back to the child. Mutoto akupate mazi? Ukunywa uji mutoto apate nini? Ukure ikotofia mutoto apate nini? Everything now goes to the... The only thing you are told is Kenjel left on your own. And it is very dangerous. Why is it dangerous? The uterus will remain bulky. Many women suffering today have bulky uterus. And added to that, due to the abnormal feeding that you will be, you'll be exposed to, you will have baby fat, which you might never be able to remove again. Okay? But the bulky uterus will also be one cause of fibroids. Okay? And because this baby, you have lost 12 kgs, and in six months, expectations are that child should have eight kilograms. So how many kilograms in just uh, six months? That is 20, isn't it? Do you think you'll be normal? Do you think that suckering is very easy? Remember, the child is an obligate parasite. <laughs> 
medically they know they are known they are obligate parasite hakunywagi akijua we what will go through to with you nikukumaliza na kumali so hiyo matiti do you think itakuwa normal tena do you think it will be the same do you know when you are a girl who get to matiti mbele ya watu lakini after bath unajua unaweza tolea hata hapo and without even thinking eh? and do you know that is your exposure eh now the defense mechanism of that breast is the fat the breast should always be firm always remember this they should be firm once you start losing that fat you're exposing yourself to a very great risk and i all say if you are within the active age before menopause take the seventh day as a holy day for you very seriously see seventh day as da i say the seventh day from the day you spot always go to the mirror look at your breast the nipple looking directly pointing at the mirror sa tatu kamiri if it is not and i'm saying the nipple if it is facing south be very worried save your life If it is changing in color, be worried. If it retracts, be very worried. If there are some discharges to hospital. If you have lumps on your armpit, go to hospital. Those are the major signs that will indicate that a cancer is forming. And it can be treated very fast if you don't go beyond 25 days. But if you don't, you skip this month, and it was forming. By the time you know it, it will be stage three. That's not good news. But there is something that you can be doing continuously as a health preservative way by taking our Feminagi supplement. It is not about sickness. It is about taking care of that breast. Okay? It is not easy to treat you, but to protect you is very easy. When you talk of feminagi I think I have it here When you talk of this product we talk of a product that will save life a product that will ensure that you retain the fat in your breast a product that will ensure that your entire reproduction system is protected the contraction of that uterus will be dependent on how many do you take if you do not take care of that Uh, bulk uterus two things can happen you can have fibroids number one and if you miss the fibroids you are still not lucky where as you grow old it will prolapse by prolapsing nikusema itainama it will start like in a toka na haita toka pale unazaiona but it will be pressing your urethra against the pelvic bone what is the disadvantage of that it means by the time unaskia makojo inakuja you only have 10 seconds incontinence inaweza toka na saa hiyo umeisikia you better never cough oh. if you cough <laughs> that is the bulky uterus it can be helped contract very easily and very well by continuously taking this supplement always ask yourself this month as i do my budget for salon and all the other things what is my budget for my breast Do you budget like that? Have you ever done that? It is very easy to budget for it. You know, if you hear of nine women per hour, it means you don't know how your health status are. And what I've just told you is just a self examination. You can examine yourself, okay? You don't have to go to the doctor to be tortured to know. Kutotia ni kuguza. Kutotia Are we together? I thought you, I thought you. You can just talk here yourself, okay? Are we together? It is well. It is well. Women should not die. You should live because you are the beauty of our society, okay? Most important again, we have a soap. We have it is our vagina wash. It is called Femi Care. They were introduced to her, uh, hygiene was not right. You are introduced to hygiene according to what was available then and that was soap okay nakangunia you know <laughs> well that is the way you are introduced but 
somebody somewhere did not tell you eh hiyo kangunia kwanza inaweza then <laughs> the soap will imbalance the ph of your state house and what does that mean it is a disadvantage because that is an internal organ and the only security it has is acidic pv okay the ph of that organ determines does it vary if uh, the, the ph varies or we say phv it is variation if it varies and goes to alkalinity all manner of bacteria will find their way there okay so what should you do by using femicare you do two things one you retain the good ph secondly you remove all the debris within the corners of that state house because there are some debris that should also come out okay and most important you empower your cervix your cervix need immunity why do you need immunity in your cervix the cervical cancer that you hear of today half a life span of 20 years from the day that virus appeared there it have taken 20 years for it to compromise you is that a good thing that you have lived with a virus that will compromise you later but it is the inability of the immune system to indicate that this is a dangerous thing or a pathogen that gives its life. It lives there for 20 years. It is not a good thing. Ensure that those two products, they are not bought because you are sick. They are bought because maintenance of your health is a key factor. Hello? Tego pamoja? Iyo imeshika? Sasa, let's go to the gentleman in the house. Hamujambo waze? Very good. Nini tu ndio hamuna mwenye? Yes. You are the only road rangers. Yes. Now you live in a uh, a family or a society that really only values one side of the gender. Even in corona, bado haikupendi. More men are dying than women. And even they are saying avoid touching men. That is mouth ears and nose. Si uandike uone itasoma nini? Huh? It is just avoid men. You know? <laughs> that is how <laughs> embarrassed the society is. Okay? And men, if you take for granted your he sexual health, that is the first line of your defense. Your sexual health was not taught to you because when you are young, so you go to tembea bila suruali unajishika na unarimwa. And that is how you have grown up to assume that your sexual health is only for intercourse. It is 